for day two. So just waiting for Beyonce um, to come out and we are gonna be on our way for day two of the workout. Today we're just gonna walk um, the puppy so we all three will get exercise and what we need. So yeah, I'll maybe film a little bit of it. Um, but yeah, day two, day two. Good morning. I tried to film that stupid oatmeal video uh, for you guys again this morning and I didn't hit the record button. So um, I'm just going to be washing these dishes. Um, I don't know what I have on the agenda for today. I need to wash my hair. Um, I'm supposed to be meeting someone for lunch. Um, but honestly, I don't know about meeting her looking a hot mess. Um, <laughs> so I've got to figure out what to do there. I don't know that I'm going to have enough time to get ready, so, uh, see what I can do there. But I probably won't take you guys along. I've only met this person once before. Um, so definitely will feel awkward. Um, heck, I feel awkward in filming in front of my fiance. So you saw this morning shot I was getting him from behind. Um, he knows about YouTube. I even asked him if he'd want to be in some videos. And he said, sure. Um, but anyways, it still just feels awkward to me. So... Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are having a good morning so far. Hope you got out there and got some, got a workout in or have one planned. Um, for me, it's just, I think I'm just more of a morning person. Um, I enjoy waking up fairly early, um, as long as I can get to bed at a decent time. And so, I mean, I just... I want to get it knocked out first thing. Um, I had to <laughs> talk a fiance into getting up with me this morning. He he turned off the alarm and was trying to just get the workout done in the afternoon, but I was able to convince him to um, go ahead and wake up. So. That was good. Are you guys morning people? Um, tell me in the comments below if you're a morning person or if you're more of a night owl. Washing these dishes. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Washing these dishes. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Washing these dishes. Hey guys, so I haven't filmed very much at all today. Good news, I have an interview tomorrow for an HR position. Um, <coughs> so I'm gonna start planning a little bit better than maybe I have on some of my other interviews. Um, I've already got questions that I want to ask prepared. Um, I just want to go over my responses to typical HR questions um, so I can kind of be prepared there with some good answers. Um, so yeah, wish me luck on the interview because I need it. I don't know. Right now I am running an errand for a fiance. Um, he wanted me to stop by the gym and pick up this cashier's check and get it mailed out. So I did that and I'm just trying to find a mail center or post office. I've got a general location. But knowing is how I am. Wish me luck. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go back to the gym and do a quick Nike training club workout. So right now I'm just driving, driving, driving. Coming close 
to where I'm trying to go. <laughs> I don't know if it's this street coming up or the next one. Let's see if it's this one. Cabbage rolls with dinner. Um, I'm going to stuff them with brown turkey and brown rice. Um, I have not tried this recipe before, so I'm not sure how good it will be. I'm not sure um, level of difficulty either. I think probably moderate level of difficulty. Um, <coughs> I'm going to be using this recipe loosely. Um, Aaliyah's Cabbage Rolls with Turkey and Brown Rice. I found it on food.com. Um, it says it will take approximately an hour and 10 minutes. Um, so I'm going to get started on this. I'm going to start the rice first off um, and then I'm going to start chopping the vegetables, core the cabbage, um, and then saute like the onions and garlic and stuff. Um, so I'm not going to include the, some of this, uh, some of the things it calls for I'm not going to include, so the carrots, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the carrots um, and the celery, I'm going to omit both of those, um, but I, I'm going to do everything else, so I'm going to get started with that. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to boil the rice, cook the rice, and then um, start chopping the vegetables. First, I'm going to let this puppy outside. She always wants to go outside at the wrong time, so... And I've got a towel on my head, let me explain. I am pre-pooing my hair, so I'm getting ready to jump in the shower and wash it. So that's why this is on my head. So yeah. Okay guys, so I'm back. I'm actually gonna change the recipe that I'm gonna use. Instead, I'm gonna use a recipe from a blog that I found called Parsley sagesweet.com um, and I'll put the link in, um, in the description below if you want to try it out. Um, so I'm going to use that one instead. Still going to use it loosely though. So I'm still I guess going to start with the rice. I think it's crazy none of these recipes are starting with the rice. <laughs> Wait a second. That's why you got to read the recipes first. They'll have you doing some crazy stuff. Raw. Oh, I guess you don't have to cook the rice. That's weird. I would have thought you had to cook the rice. It's pretty soft in the meat, but I guess when you bake the cabbage rolls, it cooks it up. Huh. All right, so first step is to fill a large pot with water, bring it to a rolling boil, blah, 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 blah. We're going to stick the cabbage in there. So I need to core the cabbage. I have no idea how to core cabbage. Hang on, guys. <laughs> so, um, I just thought, do any of you guys use the Nike Training Club app? Um, if you are, I'm going to put my uh, account information, my contact information below on there and add me so we can like uh, cheer each other on and motivate each other and uh, share workouts and things like that. So uh, look for that in the description box below. And then, like I said, I'll share the recipe that I use. I changed it, I think, again, maybe from what I told you. I can't remember. But I'll be sure to put it down there. Uh, if you try it out, let me know what you think. I'll let you know how this turns out. Uh, fiance is really honest about his food, so if he doesn't like it, he will most definitely let me know. I'm a little more laid back with food. I mean, it has to taste really bad for me to not eat it. Um, otherwise, I mean, it's food. I'm, I'm able to eat. I'm getting nourishment from it, so I don't complain too much. But uh, he will definitely let me know if this is a, <laughs> if this is a good one that I can make again, or if I'm never allowed to make this dish again.
Pinky first. Especially when handling raw meats. All right, so I've got the ground turkey in here. Put in one egg, the recipe called for two, it's optional. So I compromised and did one. I added some garlic. Oh, I shouldn't have put that garlic in there. Shoot. Oh, well. to begin making the sauce. So I need to chop one more clove of garlic. Get a new knife. All right guys, so here's the finished uh, product before I put it in the oven and bake it. Um, so I got eight rolls here and I overstuffed them probably, um, but that's fine. So I'm gonna top this with some more tomato sauce and then put it in the oven. Uh, the recipe says to bake it at 350 for two hours, but um, it's already 720, um, so two hours is gonna be really late. So I'm gonna up the temperature on our oven to 400 and try to uh, lessen some of that time, get some of that time back. Um, I'm gonna be making this with mashed potatoes and some garlic toast. Um, so I'll cook those up right before fiance gets home from work. And yeah, this is gonna be dinner. I hope it's good. 